Hello, welcome to another podcast of Portuguese with Carla, podcast 14. And of course, I'm Carla Sabala. And uh, once again, I have uh, Marlon Sabala with me. Hello, good afternoon, morning, evening. Whatever, whatever time, time it is yeah. for you. If, uh, as usual, you want to uh, go to the notes for this podcast, then head over to PT with Carla or Portuguese with Carla dot com slash podcast 14. Ain't that right, Carla? That is right. Yes. And today, or for this episode, we have a special podcast. Do we? A bit different, isn't it? We oh, are yes, playing yes. a game. Yes, we're playing uh, a game that... Um, I guess we're going to do a slightly different version of the game, more, more about that later. But generally speaking, this is a game you can play at home, right? Mm. This is something that uh, helps you memorize words. Um, you've, you've played something similar, no doubt. Remember we played the other day with some friends, Red Handed yeah. or Taboo, I think is another one. Mm -hmm. Taboo is one of those games where if you... Um, you have a word. You have a word, but then you have like five. A list of other words that you can't use. That's right. To describe that word that you want to be guessed. Yeah. That you want to have guessed. Yes, that's right. And this this is a similar concept in the sense that uh, the way it works is, say you have a, a list of words, vocabulary that in Portuguese that you want to remember. And this is better if you have a group, uh, at least two people. <coughs> Basically, what you do is you give your list of words to the other person. Okay. And they will choose one at a time. Actually, no, no, I beg your pardon. Right. They have to know the words, but the way you do is you pick one of the words. You can't see them. That's the thing. You can't see what words you're picking. And you show there's varying the other. variations. You either show it to the other or just stick it in your forehead sort of thing. And they either can way, see it. Either way, you show it to the other person. Yeah. And you can't see it. And what, what happens is they will describe that word to you in, hopefully, and preferably in your the language you're trying to learn. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you're trying to obviously guess what word it is. Um, the reason why you do it in the language you're trying to learn is, well, it's harder and you end up getting synonyms or words that are pretty much um, the same in meaning to that target word. Yeah, and it's forcing you to think in the language, isn't it? So then when you have to recall these words, you'll be quicker at it. That's right. Good. So, but we're going to do a slightly different version of that game simply because, well... Doing it in Portuguese might be too difficult yes. for some. Yes. And of course, we're not trying to get... I'm not trying to get you to, to guess or you're not trying to get me to guess it. It's more the audience that wants to guess these words. That's right, yeah. So if it's too difficult in Portuguese, we're going to give you the option of doing it in English. So I'm going to use... Uh, we are going to use wait, wait, the... Wait, 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 wait. Don't explain it yet because we're going to explain it when the intro comes in. Carl. What intro? The, uh, the game show intro. Oh, yeah. okay. so sure. You sorry. explain it in a second. No I, problem. I was just going to say that these words that me and Carla are going to try to get you to guess are words that we've covered in previous podcasts. And we're going to have two of these podcasts, review podcasts, call it that way. Yeah, all the words that we've used in previous podcasts, that's right. And hopefully you've looked at the words in the flashcard games that we have on each podcast. Um, and of course, you know, You've heard them on the podcast several times as And we go scenes. through. Yeah. So maybe you're familiar with them by now. Let's check that that is the case. But Carla is now going to explain how the game goes. Okay, let's play Guess the Word. First, we are going to try and describe a word, or I'm going to try and describe this word to Marlon in Portuguese. If you're not able to guess it, then I am going to do it in English. And still, if you can't try, if, you, if you're not able to guess it, I am going to give you a multiple choice. I'm going to give Marlon a multiple choice. And within 30 seconds, you should be able to find a word then, or guess the word then. Let's play the game. Let us. Okay, good. Let's take the jingle out. And now we're going to have 30 seconds. Now, I don't know what word Carla's picking. Nope. No idea. I have the list of all the words here in front of you. Actually, I should say, if you go to... Um, portuguesewithcarla.com slash podcast14 which is this one there will be a list in a hidden well you can just click the button to uh, reveal it but there's a hidden list of all these words so if you feel like you're not going to be able to get them out of the thin air uh, from your, your memory alone there will be a list of all the words so you can sort of uh, pick from the right one if that helps you okay so 30 seconds Carlos picked a word I don't know what it is Let's go. Okay. Uh, metal. 
uh, é. é dinheiro É uh, circular Ou redondo um, Ok, em inglês It's um, metal, material uh, It's um, money um, Circle, like a circle Or like, you know, it's round é Multiple choice Ok, então a sorte A gorjeta ou a moeda And hopefully you got that one. It was a moeda. Okay. Carla's going to write it down so you can all see it. A moeda. The coin. Exatamente. Okay. A moeda. Good. So I'm going to pick one now, Carla. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Go. Okay. Uh, é normalmente associado com pão. É um bocado de pão. É, também pode ter um bocado de um bolo e normalmente é um triângulo. <laughs> so it, it's it's a piece of bread you could say or a piece of cake. It's normally triangle shaped. Okay, are you getting it? Mm, no, uh, you cut it with a knife. Okay, é a mão, a vaca <laughs> ou a fatia. A fatia. A fatia, the slice. Okay. A fatia. Oh, why is this rubbing? Anyway. Good. Okay, Carla. Next okay. one. Uh, mm, I've lost my words just a second. So we've done a fatia and a moeda. Okay. Okay, good. Whenever you're ready, Carla. Um, okay. Uh, novamente, dinheiro. Um, é, tem a ver com um, Não ah! helping Carla <risos> Ok eu, eu, ah! <risos> Não consigo pensar Euros uh, Nós dizemos 2 euros Vírgula 5 O quê? Uh, então it's money again And it's 2 uh, euros point 14 What? Uh, então O pão o café ou o cêntimo? O cêntimo. O cêntimo. Ok. You got a bit uh, flustered there, Carl. I you? did. <laughs> ok. So it was a portion of, maybe that was a word you're looking for. Portion or percentage yeah. of. Maybe not a percentage. Not exactly okay. those words, yeah. but yeah, you know what I mean. Ok. Ok. I'm ready for I mean. the next one, Carla. Mm -hmm. Go. Timer. Oh, yes. Ok. É um peixe que se come muito na madeira. Peixe na peixe madeira. Na madeira. É, também se faz bifes com este peixe. Mm. So it's a fish. They love eating this fish in Madeira. And you can have a steak out of this fish. Ok? And it comes in tins. I didn't say it in Portuguese. Vem em latas. So, is it a forma? A saúde ou o atum? Atum! Well, you didn't let him think, Carl. Okay. Atum! <laughs> I wanted to say it straight away. Atum! <laughs> of course, what else? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that one. Okay, I'm ready for the next one, Carl. Okay. Um, é comida. Uh, uh -huh. Está sempre na mesa uh, num restaurante. Em Portugal uh, Existem muitas árvores Para este fruto Se não me engano é um fruto uh, No Alentejo Em inglês in English, It's uh, food It's usually on the table at the restaurant First thing you actually start eating in, uh, At the restaurant in Portugal There's lots of trees of this fruit I think it's a fruit uh, In Alentejo in Portugal And the answer is A dúzia, a vaca Ou a azeitona Uh, azeitona. Muito bem. Is it a fruit? I guess it is. Don't know. Oh, no, it's something. Azeitona, yeah. <laughs> I think it I is. I had to think about that one, Carla. I, I was thinking you were talking about there? bread oh. on the table, always well, on the table. Well, you got to challenge the listeners, so. Of course, bread is not uh, fruit, so I knew that much. Okay, I'm on to the and next trees. one. Trees. Trees don't give bread. Yeah, exactly. I thought about that. Okay, let's go. Okay. Isto tens muitos... Na tua boca e Normalmente são brancos <risos> Às vezes um bocadinho mais escuros 
é, e tu tens que mastigar com eles. So you have them in your mouth. They tend to be white, although some are a bit darker. And you chew with these things. So, in a singular, a dica, o sotaque, o dente. O dente. O dente. That should be fairly easy if you know the word for dentist, in yes. Port even in English. So yeah, that's good. good. So there's a dente. common root there between the Portuguese and the uh, English. Next one, Carla. Okay. Uh, então, num restaurante, mm -hmm. no final, uh, nós queremos pagar o quê? So, at the restaurant, at the yeah. end of um, your visit to a restaurant, you uh, want to pay the a mão, a sorte ou a conta? Was that too fast? <laughs> I'm waiting for the bomb. Okay. A conta. A conta. The bill. Is By the way, I don't know if I, if I said earlier, azeitonas or lips. I don't know. Oh, yes, that's where they are. Okay. Next one. Okay, vamos continuar no restaurante. No fim de uma refeição, nós, os portugueses, tem um destes, pequenino. Okay. E vem normalmente quente e é forte. Muitas pessoas metem açúcar. At the end of the, rest, uh, the restaurant visit, you normally have one of these. Portuguese do. Quite small, very, very strong. And you often put sugar in them. It's a drink. Can I guess? No. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, I just pressed the wrong thing. Um, a pulga. O teleférico. O café. O café. O café. Coffee. Now, I've noticed yes. that we keep saying the right word at the end of our list of multiple choices, so that might make things a little easier. Okay, I'm, I'm going to mix them up. Yeah, because I've done that anyway. So. Okay, okay. ready, Carla? Yeah. Have you marked? Yeah. Yes, I did. Uh, okay. Uh, parte do corpo, uma uh -huh. extremidade, tem cinco dedos. Uh, so it's part of the body, an extremity, uh, five fingers on it. So that would be a vaca, a gorjeta, ou a mão. The answer, my friends, is wait for the bong. A mão. A mão. The hand. And again. I used it, I gave it as the last option. <laughs> you just warned me about that. I know. Okay, next one. Vamos continuar no restaurante. Este é um produto que está sempre na mesa dos portugueses. Podes meter manteiga, podes meter Nutella neste produto. Mm. So this is something that is always in the uh, table oh. of a Portuguese family. You can put butter in it or on it. You can put Nutella on it if you're more advanced in your ears. Or no, what? when you're younger. Anyway, the answer could be a sorte, o pão, o taxi. Well, it's obviously not the last one. I should make it. O pão. O pão. The bread. O pão. Okay. All right. Next one, Carla. Go. Uh... Quando não estamos a trabalhar, uh, viajamos para outro lugar, nova cidade, um novo país. Uh, What are you trying to get at? Então, in English, um, when you're not working, you travel to oh, okay. a new place, uh, a new city, a new country. What do you call What that? are you doing? Well, yeah. hmm. So you're off work. What are you doing? Ok, então são uh, ou é a forma, a dica ou as férias? You put it at the end again, Carl, didn't you? <laughs> okay. ok, so as férias. Muito bem para aqueles que adivinharam. So, well done to those who guessed. That was not an easy one. Ok, let's go for a hard one. Depois de uma refeição... Uh, tens que limpar os dentes. E se foi carne ou peixe, usamos este coisinho bem fininho. 
after a meal, you want to clean your teeth, maybe because you had fish or meat, and there's something in between your teeth, and you use one of these thin things. A forma, a dica, o palito. O palito. O palito. Ok. Ok, Carla. Uh, ok. Quando nós pagamos a conta, muitas vezes, quer dizer, os portugueses nem tanto, não é? Mas normalmente as pessoas em geral deixam uh, um, uma quantia, um valor monetário com a empregada que os serviu. So at the end, at the restaurant, when you, after you pay the bill, uh, the Portuguese maybe not so much, but people in general like to leave, leave uh, a quantity of, of a monetary value for the waiter. That has given, that has served them. So that would be a dúzia, a vaca, ou a gorjeta ou a vaca. Para <laughs> de A gorjeta. Gorjeta. A gorjeta. Okay, we need to do this quicker because we're going way past the Okay. Parte do corpo é lá embaixo, a parte de baixo do corpo, tens dois destes. E andas com eles. Part of your body. Right at the very end of the body. You have two of these. And you walk with them. Is it? O chapéu. O bico. O pé. <laughs> did you get it? O pé. O pé. And I did put it at the end. So this is always in the single, isn't it? These words are always in the single form. Correct. Apart from words that actually that they don't have a single uh, form, like férias, holidays. We don't say holiday, we say holidays. No. Não, férias. Ok, então, uh, outra vez uma quantidade. Uh, muitas vezes quando vamos ao supermercado compramos ovos numa quantidade específica. Uh, pode ser seis ovos uh, ou o dobro dos seis ovos. So, uh, this is a quantity. Uh, many times when we go to the supermarket, we get six eggs. Other times we get double the amount. So, that would be a forma, a dica... Oh, a dúzia. <laughs> Something is wrong with my brain. A yes, dúzia. you have guessed dúzia. right. A dúzia. Okay, next one. Let's go with maybe this one over here. Okay, isto é, vem das árvores. É, talvez seja comprido. Os, uh, as crianças gostam de brincar com ele. É feito de madeira. So these come from trees, kids like to play with them, they're long and uh, they are made of wood and you can throw them at people. O gato, o pau, o berro. O pau, the stick, that's mm, what it is. Yeah, that would have been very hard, I think, by the, for the, you think? Yeah, by the description. Okay. Ok, é um animal, é um uh, mamífero, uh, é um animal branco e preto, às vezes pode ser castanho. Um, ok, so it's an animal, it's um, a mammal, mammal and yes. it's a, a black and white uh, animal. Can be, yes. Yeah, and sometimes brown. Ok, or sometimes brown. Então, isto é a saúde... A zona, a vaca. I'm putting a card. I say, woman, do not leave this to the last. And you still pick the last. And again. A vaca. Well, but they don't know that, do they? They might well, think they might I'm get still... the hint after 26 <laughs> senses. Not sure. Well, you don't, but you don't give it away, okay? Okay. okay. When you learn... Oh, la, la. Quando aprendemos uma nova língua, normalmente temos isto. E em diferentes partes do país há diferentes tipos de blá blá. So, if you learn a new language, you might have a strong something in your way of speaking. And if you're different parts of the country, you definitely have different types of this. A zona, o sotaque, a saúde. O sotaque. O sotaque. Ou... Uh, in English, I just drew a blank. 
the um your accent yes okay good call next Okay, um, a maior parte das pessoas adultas uh, faz isto uh, para ganhar dinheiro. Um, então, the, the majority of uh, grown-ups uh, do this to make money. So, would that be o trabalho, o táxi, o gato? That was quick. <laughs> I would argue that actually the first two would be correct according to your description. What's that? Of course, the right answer was o trabalho. O trabalho. But you also said o taxi. Oh, so most of, what did well, I say? I Majority people of people that, need this for, yeah, most people are taxi drivers. So, yeah. yes. Okay, I guess we don't need to do taxi anymore because that's pretty obvious. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um pássaro come com, or come com isto. Que abre e fecha bem a, 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 afiado. afiado. Okay, so birds eat with these things and they're pretty sharp. Or can be. They can be long or they can be pretty small. What is it? A chaminé? O bico? A pulga? A chaminé? O bico? A pulga? O bico? O bico. Well done, you guys. You Sim. Ok, então uh, uma coisa que uh, custa muito, uh, que não custa uh, muito dinheiro, uh, uh, será uma coisa não grátis, mas ok, in English, so something that doesn't cost much money, uh, so it wouldn't be something that's free, but something that is Close to free. Uh -huh. Então, o troco, fácil, barato. 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 You know, I mean Cheap. to barato. say this in first place and I don't know why I always say it last. Ok, quando... É outra palavra para grito ou quando falas muito alto. Uh, e quando está chateado com alguém, talvez. So, another word for scream, ou em português, of course, é uh, very loud speaking, often just a word or two, and when you're probably upset. O berro, o troco, o chapéu. O berro. Which I don't know how to translate in English. It's, it's a scream. The shout. Shout. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, shout. It could be a shout. Okay, go. Um, no final do dia uh, de trabalho ou no final de uma longa semana de trabalho, uh, muitos uh, sentem-se desta forma. É um sinónimo para exausto. Uh, so at the end of a work day or at the end of a long week of work, many people feel this way and it's a synonym for um, exhausted uh, então, será o teleférico o troco <laughs> cansado <laughs> I have no idea, Carla I... <laughs> very good cansado <laughs> cansado, Tired. but make sure you don't say casado, but cansado, casado is married for a guy Ok, isto é uma coisa, está a descrever uma coisa que não é difícil, ok? Talvez um puzzle que não é difícil de se fazer, é simples. So, imagine doing something that is not difficult, so the antonym for difficult, in português, perhaps a, a puzzle for kids. So that would be for you, it would be... What? Gato. Dica. Fácil. Fácil. That's the one. Okay. Easy. Fácil. Portuguese. You could probably hear Carla doing tick, 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 tick. Typing it. Because she's typing on, uh, on the um, iPad so that you can then see it on the, uh, on the video version of this podcast. Mm -hmm. Next one, Carla. You ready? Sim. Okay. Então, uh, 
podemos pensar numa expressão uh, inglesa uh, que diz, ou que a tradução em português é isto faz uh, o mundo girar. Ok? So, a uh, English expression um, where we say that this thing makes the world go round, right? So, what would that be? O dinheiro, o teleférico, o troco. O dinheiro. The money. Mm -hmm. Este é um animal, ou um inseto, não sei bem, é, que chateia e aparece no cabelo. E é muito chato de se livrar dele. No so, cabelo? No não? corpo? Ok. So, this is something that is very annoying. Uh, an animal or an insect... Uh, a living creature, put it that way And uh, it appears in your body I said hair, but I guess it can go in your hair But it appears in your body And it's very annoying to get rid of And they jump But it ain't lice Então, uh, é o quê? It's what? Mm. A chaminé? <laughs> a pulga? O teleférico? A pulga? A pulga Ok, então uh, o oposto de quem fica uh, doente. Então o oposto de doente ou de doença de alguém que não tem uh, problemas. Uh, problemas, sim, uh, <laughs> quer físicos ou mentais. So the opposite of uh, of being ill or someone who is ill. Um, so someone who uh, tip top. Uh, yes, who has no problems or issues of, you know, mental or physical. Right, so is that o pau, a saúde, a pulga? We already said the pulga, Carla. It's all right, you have to mix and match, otherwise okay. the last ones will be easy. <laughs> a saúde. A saúde. Health. But as Carla said in the previous podcast, uh, health in Portuguese, when we say a saúde, that means good health. That's what it's referring to. Yes, you don't have to say boa, so would to mean I good health. I have health, health I, that means you're in good health. It's already a good thing, yeah. Okay. Quando vamos a um sítio para comprar alguma coisa e eles dão o dinheiro que... Um, o, devo, o dinheiro que te dão de volta é o quê? So when you go and buy something and you give them some money and they give you some money in return, the remainder... Of the value that which you of the thing which you bought is what? O gato, a birra, o troco. O troco. O troco. The change. I'm going to start making up words because we're running out of words in this list. I'm going to make some other words up. Exactly. Yeah. But they might not remember the first words we've used. They so you can not. still use right. them. Go. Okay. Uh, então. Um, é um sinónimo, não, 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 é um sinónimo para área, ok? Então, it's a synonym for area, simples, ok? A chaminé, a zona, o chapéu. The answer for that would be a zona. Sim. Ok, my next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be a hard one. Ok, so, e, por exemplo, quando, der, quando dás uma informação interessante ou que ajuda outra pessoa, o que é isto? When you give um, information that is interesting and important and useful for somebody else, what is it? This is a hard Piece of information. Piece of information, yes. É o carro... A janela, a dica. A dica? Dica. The tip. The tip or the hint. Or tip, I guess. Yes. So, dica is tip, gorjeta is tip, but two different sort of tips, isn't yes, it? Yes, correct. Ok. Quando alguém é bem sucedido uh, no jogo ou na vida em geral. So when some, this is a word that describes that. Uma palavra que descreve 
isso. So, when someone is successful, either in game or life in general, love, that would be um, a forma, a gorjeta, a sorte. I have to say, I, I, I had no, no idea where, where you were really? going with that one. And I had the words in front of me. It's a sorte. The luck. luck. Okay, got it. Um animal tem quatro patas e é da mesma família que o leão. É um felino. E o tigre. Tigre. É um felino, sim. So, it's an animal. It has four little legs. And it's from the same family as the lion. A little paws. Uh, and the tiger. What is it? Is it o escorpião? O gato? O cão? O gato. O gato. Ok. And let's go. We're nearly at the end. Um, ok. É uma peça de vestuário. Uh, que nós usamos na cabeça. Ok, so it's a piece of clothing or an accessory, you may say, that we wear um, on our heads. So it's a um, um microfone, o uh, um chapéu, o um balde. O um chapéu. You could put a bucket in your head. Uh, which is bald, but it wouldn't be very... Um, it's not something that people wear in general. Well, and it's not maybe a piece in 20 of years it will be all the rage. Is, people are okay. having buckets in their heads. We'll just do uh, one more. What do you think, Carl? Okay. I think that's enough. Yeah. Uh, okay. In uh, um casas, é onde sai o fumo. É aqui. Sai o fumo. Fumo do quê? Fumo de uma lareira. Sai lá por cima da casa, ao pé do teto. So, the smoke out of a house comes out of this thing. What smoke? Smoke out of a... Uh, like a fire. Or yes. A... Okay. É o quê? What is it? É a esmola, a chaminé, o quadro. A chaminé. chaminé. Muito bem. In English, it's the... I have no idea. What? <laughs> I, just, I, just I can't think of what it is, right? Can you? How many years have you been living in this place, Carla? Uh, I can't think of the word 12. for chaminé in English. Anyway, if you are building a website for teaching English, we'll subscribe. <laughs> um, I can't think of it. Anyway, we'll, we'll go. Well, <laughs> while you research, Google this. Because I just drew a blank and so did Carla. I'll just explain that um, the this exercise, of course, when you do it at home... Um, take a bit more time. You don't you don't want to put pressure on people. We just did a 30 second thing just to make it a bit more fun. But we don't have to do the, the pressure of, of the timer. So just take it. Did you find a car? Chimney. Of course. It's <laughs> <laughs> so close. It's right. a chimney. Okay, so just look down. Well, maybe you didn't write it down. Did you think you got more than 10 answers correctly? Well, if you did get 10 answers correctly, we have a choice of two prizes for you. Yes, two magnificent prizes. Now you can choose from <laughs> prize number one, having a custard tart or pastel de nata delivered to your door every single day for the for the next three years. If uh, you choose that prize, then send an email to freecustardtarts at thisemailisnotfakeatall.com. If, on the other hand, you choose prize number two, well, this prize is free tips and tricks and techniques for learning European Portuguese and head over to portuguesewithcala.com slash blog. You're welcome. That is great. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Well, were you that cutting was me bad, off? wasn't it? <laughs> it was such a sharp cut. If you didn't get 10 answers correctly, well, don't despair. You're not a complete loser. You just have a pretty bad memory. Welcome to the club. Yes, I like that. I should play that more often, just to say whatever I want. It just sounds... Uh, no. Yeah, you feel like you're famous, everybody. It does, doesn't it? Yes. I wanted to say, Carla, that we spend a lot of time, even though they're only five, five minutes long each, uh, putting together these three videos. And mm. Do you want to explain where they are? Oh, yes. And where people can get so, them? So, we, last time we were in Portugal, we hit Lisbon and we spoke to a few natives and actually uh, people who weren't Portuguese but could 
uh, speak a little Portuguese. We asked them uh, how to say hello in a formal setting and how to say hello or greet someone in a more informal setting. Not just greet someone, but saying goodbye and uh, asking the time. And they gave their own uh, versions of how they say it. Because, as you know, in English, we have different ways of saying hello or asking someone how they, you know, how they are. So you'd say, hi, hello, hi, uh, how's it going? Um, how are you? How are you doing? And so on. So it's the same thing in Portuguese. Uh, so these uh, videos are available on YouTube. The first part is the greetings. So make sure you click on the link at the end of the video and to see the next uh, part, the p part two, and so on. You'll get to part three as well. So yeah, I think you will uh, you will benefit from it, um, despite the fact that you may be um, a beginner or uh, intermediate or advanced in Portuguese. Because yeah. there are expressions ways. that when you learn Portuguese from books. Especially if you've never lived in Portugal, spend a great deal of time there. There are expressions that no book will will teach you. Um, yeah. So you'll hear a lot of pa pa pa. Oh yes, that's so you look in the dictionary, and, that's, Lisbon, and that, the meaning for pa is shovel. But of course, they don't say hey shovel. Um, so it's they're sort using of like it. A hey, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but it's just, like in English, you we learn at school. We learn how are you, but that's not the only way of ask someone how they are. Yeah. So same sort of principle. And Carla said they're on YouTube, which is correct. Uh, you also get all of the new stuff that comes out if you follow Carla on uh, Twitter. That's PT with Carla. On YouTube, youtube.com slash Portuguese with Carla. And, uh, of course, on our blog. That's where everything ends up. So all these videos are also linked to on our website. You want to say anything else, Carla? I do, yeah. I mean, we... Uh, it is Portuguese with Carla, but as you can see, uh, I don't do it on my own. Marlon is always with me and he does a lot of uh, work um, backstage. And uh, I want to thank you for your help. Oh, well, that's you know? very You've been very good. Thank and you very much. Will I get a custard tart delivered every day to uh, my door? Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll, we'll job. try and find a, a, another prize for you. Nothing if, inappropriate. Although if you have been to Portugal and you've never tried it, it's going to be rare though. People that haven't tried the... Uh, Custard tarts? Custard tarts. Uh, yeah, I spoke to someone that. who hasn't. That was actually quite surprised. Never heard of it. And they're visiting Portugal soon. So uh, the original, oh, they will now, soon find out. They what say is. the original ones come from a place called Belém. There's a, a, a place over there. I'm going to say, I was going to say small little cafe, but it's not. It's pretty big these days. Mm. Where they do. It's been I, there for years. Tell you what, I don't know if it's the original. It might be. Um, it's often talked about as being the one to go to. And many people argue that, hey, I've been to ones that um, tasted better. But the thing is, if you go to this one in Belém, near Mosteiro dos Jerónimos, or not far from there at all, you'll, you'll, you'll see it straight away because there's a queue, always a queue outside. The thing about it, it might not be the best tasting one, even though it tastes amazing to me, but Fresh it's always... Out of the oven. Sorry? Fresh out of the oven. It is. And it's always war warm and crispy. crispy. The and pastry is nice and crispy. They do it. Because the, cause there's always a lot of people. You always get them out of the oven. Uh, yeah. and, they, they and if you like cinnamon. cinnamon, make sure you add some cinnamon powder mm, on it. Mm. It's really good. How do you say cinnamon in Portuguese? Can Canela. Completely different. Canela. It's mesmo. Okay. Okay, this is it then. Okay, put the jingle on. Yeah, and we see you some other time. Or uh, you will hear from us. We won't Thanks, see we. you. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.